In the last two exercises, we have explored the use of the motion sense object to detect movement or motion. And in this one, we try not to use the prepackaged motion sense object, but try to look inside how we can explain or explore the idea of movement by comparing frames out of the sequence captured from your video camera and then try to make use of those ideas in order to create something interesting. Okay, so we remove this one and tidy up the desktop first. For the new project, we give it a name called Movement 001 and we explore mainly through the content from our video camera so that we need a video device in and also we flip it horizontally yes and the way that computer can understand movement is it will just only know, for example, whether any changes in a location or a pixel from the first frame to the second one. So that means you need to have multiple frames available to the movie in order to make sense or make the comparison. So in Touch Designer, the way we work with multiple frames is we keep them in a storage and that storage is the name called Catch. So Catch is more or less like a computer term referring to storage so we can send our image to the storage and we can also specify the size of the storage which you can imagine it is something like a cabinet of different drawers and the number of drawers is specified by this so we might use for example just 10 of them and as you can see from all the images over here they are the same image in real time and in order to retrieve the former images so we can make use of another command called cache select which we can retrieve some of the images stored in the in the storage and to relate the two of them we need to drag this cache object to the cache top in the cache select object such that they are related together. Once they are related, you see this dotted arrow coming from the cache to the cache select. And in the cache select, you also have an index, which by default is zero. Zero means this is the current image. As you can see, the image are the same. And in order to retrieve the former images, you can specify a number smaller than zero. For example, you can have something like minus five. And there will be five frames before. So if you use this, and then you will see that the cache less will be a little bit slower, some form of delay compared with the original one. So now we have two frames of images and then the next step is we compare two of them. So the comparison is done by the different objects. So we have the latest one and the previous one. And the comparison, if you have a look at the preview, is something like this. And if you can manage to sit still in front of the camera, there will be no image, just complete darkness. But once you move, the region or the area that you move will 
come with the different image of the two frames. Okay, and to make use of this, we can work on with the creative generation of image that we have done before. For example, we can do a color bar by doing a crop and crop it in the middle from the bottom 0.5 and also crop top 0.5. So we now just cut one single pixel, a single thin lines of pixels. And the next step we have done with the color bar is we kind of elongate or kind of lengthen it up and down by using the resolution object. And we change only the common tab in the resolution object to a custom resolution that is the one we used to have 1280 by 720 and then the next step you need to do now is just one single line set well you have to change the output aspect from the one line to the custom resolution so now you have this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you can connect the two of them together at the output window. And as well, we can follow the same step in the perform window to change the opening size to fill and also remove the border. Once you are done, you can double click to go back to your project window. So this is the first version. If you take a look at the perform window, there will be something like this. So this color bar movement actually will only happen when you move. So when you move your hand kind of left to right, right to left, it's more or less like creating a sensation of touch by the whistle respond. Okay, so this is the first version. You can also modify by inserting a few more objects in between the resolution and the final output. For example, we learn, for example, like something called threshold. So by means of threshold, it will just convert into black and white by comparing the intensity, that's the luminance over here. And also we can control with the slider to make it smaller. Once you have a smaller value, a smaller movement will generate the white color bar. So this version produce something like this which is checked by the movement of your body in front of your camera as well and if you would like to have more sophisticated images you can also proceed to add like a composite. By doing a composite, you have the first image of the color bar and then the second image from your flipped image. That's the original video output from the camera. And then you can try out different option of the operator in composite for example like we use something called the let me see burn linear for example in this case I can turn on like this and also at the same time I can turn on my original image 
so you can have a look so this is the movement of your body actually reviewing the video so if I turn it off and move on with the perform window that would be something like this so this is more or less similar to the game that you, you web your window and to review the image from outside so this is one kind of virtual touch sensation that you can touch to review image and the composite also comes with different operations you can further play around with the different one I have done for example is the Y film that if you have this you can have this form of reverse or inverse image by using your body or your movement to reveal them okay so this is something that we can make use of comparing two images one is the latest one the other is the former one and by making a difference and then try to do a threshold with using the threshold object to extract the movement area with just white strip vertical strip and then overlapping them together with the original image so you can achieve something like this in your final presentation